conference of ball, uh, does it feel you know to be fighting for a super middleweight title? Uh, I mean, it feels good. The opportunity uh, it's, it should put me on a whole nother level in this boxing game. You know, I just de I definitely deserve I belong on this level, and um, I'm here to show this guy exactly why this belt coming home with me. Um, you know, you're coming into this fight with a with an impressive record, 21 and one, mm. and you know. A lot of you know world title. A lot you know. There's a now a vacant super middleweight world title that yeah. Bedojak recently uh, relinquished. You know, is that you know in uh, a goal for you maybe this year to possibly be in that in that short list for contendership for a world title? Yeah, this uh, this year I plan on being a big year for me. Um, after this fight, I plan on going on to uh, fight a USBA title. Hopefully in April. Hopefully on April first. Um, I'm here to take over anything, anybody to get in my way. I'm steamrolling over. You know what I mean? I've never backed away from any fights. I never intend on backing away from any fights. Um, I didn't get a chance to see the Badu Jack fight, but I did hear it was an entertaining fight. Um, but whatever I need to do to get to that caliber, I'm putting the work in to get there. You know, and you say you know you're aiming for another title yeah. somewhere in the spring, uh, April, 1st. April first. April first. Yeah. Um, is there you know maybe an opponent you know later on in the future that you're kind of hoping to you know fight and you know put your name you know you up said in the high any, any opponent? Yeah, any, in this. anybody, anybody, anybody that's at 168 that's in my way that has a belt or that wants to fight me for a belt. I'm looking. I'm, I'm willing to fight anybody. So it's not just a. It's not a. It's not a, a, a. Any particular person, per se. It's an anybody thing. You know what I mean? Um, it's an anybody thing. You know, if it's Badu Jack, then it's Badu Jack. Doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like I respect all of those guys, but anything that's in my way of me getting where I need to be, I need to see that person. Um. You know, you're up against an opponent, you know, who's won titles in his native of Ghana. Uh, you know, what's your game plan heading into this fight? I'm not worried about this boy. Mm -hmm. The thing that the one thing that I do know is that he fighting Derek Webster. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I do know. Ghana versus the USA is two different playing fields. Mm -hmm. Who he's fought versus who I fought is two different playing fields. You know what I mean? I've been in the ring with Andre Ward. I've been in the ring with Sergio Kovalev, Chavez Jr., pa uh, John Pascal, um, Quiet Storm Alvarez. Um, I've been Roy Jones. I've been in the ring with these people. You know what I mean? This guy has never seen a caliber of fighters like that ever, and he's never seen somebody that's six four, that's a southpaw, and that can fight. He got to worry about that. I'm not worried about what he's mm -hmm. won. I mean, I don't like what titles have he won in Ghana? Do you know? Oh, he's won, you know, a couple of, like super lightweight titles. Yeah, we'll see. You know, he's fought at lower weights. I can't worry about that, mm -hmm. and I'm not worried about that. Uh, the one thing that I do know is he fight and take it to the bank, mm -hmm. and that itself is a problem. Like when you get somebody that's six four, it's not many people that's six four that can move how I move. That got mm -hmm. the foot movement that I have. That got the hand speed that I got, and that's a southpaw. There's not many fighters with that caliber of, of, of um, that has the, 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 the dynamics that I have. So mm -hmm. he got a whole puzzle that he need to figure out. You know, and you know, and right around this way, you know, 168 pounds and, and above, you're starting to see, you know, slower fighters. Um, you know, is speed, you know, one thing that kind of you thought that uh, you think that sets you apart from a lot of other fighters in this weight class? Have you seen me fight before? Um, I ha I've seen a bit of highlights. I got more. I got enough speed to give away. <laughs> You know what I mean? So like the 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 guys that that are slower, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They, I mean they got to figure out how to. But I got I got enough speed to give away. You know what I mean? And that's gonna be the one thing that's gonna that's gonna bother me. You know what I mean? Like how's he gonna get away from this speed? This power. You know what I mean? Um, I know he has a he has a huge knockout percentage. You know he got 21 knockouts out of 25 fights. But again, look at who he's knocked out. Mm -hmm. And the thing the thing about punchers are. They're only effective if they can punch you. I don't remember ever taking a beating from nobody. Um, you know, a lot of people are kind of saying that the sport kind of had a bit of a down year last year, but this year uh, there are so many, you know, big fights. Yes, in yeah. the first four months. Uh, do you see that, you know, kind of the sport is going to get a revitalizing 2017? If they keep on doing, if they keep implementing what they did last year mm -hmm. and do it this year, if they, if they continue it. Then yeah, boxing will be back on the platform that it should be on. I, de I definitely, I, I really do feel like that.
Uh, you said you've been in the ring with you know with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Um, what do you make of uh, his fight with Canelo Alvarez? You know, uh, Cinco de Mayo weekend. That he's moving down to a way that he's has not fought in a long time, and Canelo fighting to a way that he hasn't fought in his career. No, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I mean, um, the, the Chavez Jr. that I know, he's not serious. Mm-hmm. It's where Alvarez is serious. So I think um, it may end up being a war, but I think ultimately I think Alvarez is going to come out with the win. I, mean, I, I can't see Chavez beating a guy like that. You know, um, Alvarez is still a threat, and, and I, I see him. I see him as being such. Now, lastly, uh, you think uh, you're predicting a knockout, or you think uh, you're just going to take your time and win, and you know, get the win in the cards? I'm taking this boy to school. I'm taking him to school. You know what I mean? And uh, frustration is going to set in first. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm in it for the 10 rounds. I've been sparring 12s and 14 rounds, 15 rounds in sparring. Um, mm-hmm. So the 10 rounds is not going to be a problem, but I definitely feel as though uh, I'm going to take him to school. Mm-hmm. And then if the, if the knockout come, it come. And, and actually, and you actually kind of said something that I kind of have, that I'm curious about with boxers, you know, fighting at, you know, like eight. 10 rounds, uh, you know, last week, uh, Gervonta Davis won a world title in his first fight at 12 rounds. When you're boxing, you're preparing for some of these uh, fights that are, you know, 10, 12 rounds when you're so used to starting your career with six, eight round fights. Is there sort of a difference of t- preparation or, you you know, you're still routinely well, preparing for, you know, sparring 12, 14 rounds? The higher the rounds, you want to you want to train for those rounds. So if you're fighting, well, and actually when you first start out, you start out at four rounds, mm-hmm. four or four rounds, and then you go to six rounds, and you go to eight rounds. So depending on what amount of rounds you're sparring, you're training for is how you want to train for the fight. So I wouldn't train the same way if I was fighting a six round fight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I wouldn't, there's no point in doing 12 rounds if you're only fighting a six round fight. If you're doing a six round fight, you probably, you might spar around eight rounds, mm-hmm. you know, maybe 10 rounds, um, because you want to make sure that you can actually walk through those rounds, you don't want to get, you don't want to, you don't want to be tired in the fight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, the higher the rounds, the more preparation you definitely want to do. Mm-hmm.